All right, if you're playing Silent Hill 2 Remake on something like the ROG Ally or Ally X, or anything for that matter, with an integrated GPU, you will know that Unreal Engine 5 doesn't really play nice, and there are lots of issues with shadow and fog. Basically, things that should be dark and scary are bright and lit, and so the solution is, uh, is right in front of you right now. Uh, I'm going to show you the solution that just got put out, I believe just a couple days ago. I think it's by Alexander Surkov. Not everybody is familiar with how to install this, so I'm going to just walk you through. All right, as you can see, we are here on GitHub. I'll put this URL in the video description. Uh, but the installation is basically just to put the DXGI DLL and DXGI underscore proxy dot INI in the same location as your executable file. So in order to do that, what you need to do is come over here to releases and click the release. And that most current release in that folder, there will be a zip file, the d3d12-proxy.zip. You can click on this and it should download it, or you can click and hold or right click, and then it will give you a place to download it. I just put it someplace where I can get to it in the future in case I have other Unreal Engine 5 games that I want to apply this to. But once you have it, go to where you downloaded it. And uh, you can see here it is, the, uh, the zip file. And uh, you can just extract it all from here. You can double click it in Windows uh, to take a look at it. You can see the two files you need. The location you're gonna extract that to is wherever your executable file is. So you can see I have mine on an SD card, Silent Hill 2, SH Proto, Binaries, Win64. And that is the folder we want to drop these two files in. Again, that is Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Silent Hill 2, SH Proto, Binaries, Win64. And then you can see I've already done this, so I don't really need to do this, but it's going to drop them in there. And then uh, you can see here in that folder, we have dxgi.dll and dxgi underscore proxy.ini. Now, that's all you have to do. You can literally just go in, reopen Silent Hill 2, and it will run nicely. If you had ray tracing enabled as a temporary fix, which basically destroys your FPS, you can turn off ray tracing now, and it will behave as expected. Foggy things are going to be foggy. Shadowy dark things are going to be shadowy and dark. And it really is a game changer for playing this game. Uh, you're getting now the same type of gameplay you would get off of a console. So anyway, that's it. Just wanted to share that for those of you who are struggling on exactly how to make this happen. Uh, a lot of people have shared this information. I'm definitely not the first, and I'm not the one who came up with it. But I also know that not everybody is fluent in GitHub and some of the instructions that go along with that. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.